I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis. I have another brushless micro here to review for you today. This is an 88 millimeter with uh, a full size flight controller in here. That's an Omnibus F4 on this one. So I'm kind of excited about this and it also has OSD. So very excited. Uh, it also has 1104 motors on here and those are 7500 kV so they're pretty high kV and uh, I'm running those gym fan my favorite 2035 props on here uh, also very excited about those it came with those already on there ready to go it also came with these other props and these are 2030s uh, these look very similar strikingly similar to the King Kong style props and those fly good but I'm not sure they're quite as durable as the gym fans so I'll try to put a link to these down below for you guys uh, but Right away, I loaded this up on my goggles on the bench this morning and fired it up. And on my goggles, uh, right away, I see that OSD. I see the crosshair in the middle. You can change that in Betaflight. I believe you can take that on or off. You also see important battery telemetry on there. So uh, when I'm throttling up, you'll see the battery current go down. And then when I level out, you'll see it come back up. Uh, but otherwise, the greatest thing about that is that you can take care of your batteries. You don't overfly them. But this is also an interesting setup for this camera on here. This is an FX. Let's see the 805 on here. It's 600 TVL. NTSC or PAL, but it's underslung underneath here. And the, the mount looks actually pretty sturdy. It looks like an industrial plastic with a couple risers here and some metal hardware holding those in. Now, the it's interesting because they do have the 5.8 antenna running underneath here, all the way under this ESC stack on the very bottom and coming out the back right here. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how well this dipole reception works but I, I think it'll be just fine uh, underneath here too it came with this uh, style like furry bee style battery I believe this is a 2s 400 milliamp and interesting on this quad that it has BL heli yes it does have BL heli ESC's but it has 3 amp ESC's with a 7 amp burst so I'm interested to see how well this is going to perform on 2s I'm wondering if it's going to kind of shut off and brown out but uh, I've, I don't think I've seen a brushless micro yet with such a small 4-in-1 ESC on there um, I don't quite understand why they used a, a 3 amp ESC I'm, I'm wondering if, if this motor and battery combination is is going to hand this ESC is going to handle it, uh, but the Omnibus F4 is also one of my favorite boards, flight controllers, that's uh, on this one. So I feel like it's going to fly pretty smooth out of the box, and you already have Betaflight and all that good stuff on there. You have micro SD card support for black box. There's actually a little plug-in on the side right here for putting in your micro SD card. Uh, but the battery, the battery cradle underneath is what also kind of is concerning to me because I have larger batteries and most of you guys probably do have wider ones so I'm probably going to end up trimming this little plastic cradle off uh, and maybe putting a larger piece of foam down there so I can fit a wider battery and, and probably going to rig up some kind of a strap underneath here as well probably just go under here and here now this one also came with an FR Sky receiver and uh, I'm pretty happy about that when I first opened up the box it said it had an F FR Sky receiver on here and it's actually a really nice receiver it's the uh, let's see if get the manual over here it's one of my favorites this was actually on the uh, Emax Baby Hawk that I originally got and this is the XM receiver. So this has a really good range on this receiver. You can fly this further than this little FPV camera will allow. Uh, it says in their FR Sky manual that it'll actually go out 600 meters. So uh, huge reception for this little receiver. Now the VTX on here does support five different bands and 40 channels, including race band, but it is also 25 milliwatt, so it's not 200. I would like it to be switchable maybe on the next version if IdeaFly is listening to this review. Uh, a lot of guys want 200 milliwatt on their micro brushless so we can go a little further than um, maybe half a football field away or a football field. So we want to have max range on our video signal, uh, but the, the uh, XM receiver will get you way out there. Uh, by 
the way guys it's on the very bottom here and you can just barely see the bind button under here there's a little gold bind button right there and if you push down on that you'll be able to bind it to your transmitter but you're going to have to bind it with d16 so make sure you set up d16 not d8 inside your fr sky transmitter um, d16 mode is is going to work for this particular receiver now it does say in the manual that this esc setup has BL Heli S on it and it supports D Shot 150, 300, and 600. So I'm probably going to choose uh, D Shot 600 and I'm going to set my motor timing to high. Uh, but it also does support 125 and 42 one shot if you want to run one shot. But I'm going to go ahead and do mine set up as D Shot. Now they have the receiver bunny ears. Uh, there's there, there should be one, actually, one antenna coming off of this receiver um, it, it, they have it all tucked up underneath here now a lot of manufacturers do that if you have problems with reception if you're going into fail safe I would suggest bringing that up out of the top of this flight controller somehow and maybe mounting it with um, a single zip tie coming off the top it's just going to give you way better reception and you're not going to have any type of uh, fail safes occur that way now this board is also sitting on here at a 45 degree angle so in beta flight just make sure you don't zero out your orientation because uh, this board is definitely um, sitting on a 45 so that's the only way they could get this full size board in here and it does say that the mounting hardware is 25 millimeter by 25 millimeter now I'll go ahead and plug it in for you guys so you can see the LEDs in the back and uh, kind of excited about this one because this one has an LED setup that's actually bolted down right here there's a screw uh, some of the other ones that I had recently were just kind of that cheap foam tape down to the frame and when I was flying at the beeper and LED combo just fell off the back uh, on one of the different quads recently in a review. So kind of happy that these are out of the way of the props and it's actually bolted down. So that's not gonna come off, but these LEDs are pretty bright. And if you do crash, this will help you find it out in a grassy field. Uh, but I don't see any beeper on here. It's the only thing they might be missing. They have everything in this kit. Um, Without, with the exception of the beeper. So I might add my own buzzer on here because this year, like I said before my New Year's resolution is to have a beeper on absolutely all of my quads uh, so that I don't lose anything this year. But let's go ahead and take this one out in the field and fly it because uh, I'm super excited that this one has OSD and a pretty nice camera on there and an F4 and my favorite props. So I think this is gonna be a fun combo as long as this four in one ESC can do the job we'll see what happens all right guys let's go ahead and do the flight test and first i'll do the line of sight flight test for you guys because uh, i know you like to see line of sight punch out and uh, see how it flies outside the fpv camera so here we go just wait one second for it to load up and we should be good to go so here we go a little bit of uh flutter I hear in the motors. I'm wondering if there's going to be a lot of vibrations. But it has a ton of punch out. So let's come over close close in and do a one, two, three punch out. One, two, three. Wow. It might be three amp ESC four and one combo, but uh, plenty of punch on those 1104s. Seems really peppy. I think it probably would need a lot of tuning using those other props that came with it, the orange props, but need a lot less tuning with these gym fans, but still seems like there's quite a bit of wobble. The rates are nice and high for acro. Flips really tight. Okay, so let's land it before I uh, crash and mess up these props and let's do a little FPV. Here we go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do this flight test. I'm super excited about this quad. You know, it flies really, really well. And look how fast it is. It's amazingly fast on these 1104s. These three amp ESCs, they're hanging. They're hanging with this entire power system, uh, which is kind of amazing. I hit a tree. Uh, so going in for a second battery now, I just put a fresh battery on. It's extremely fast and really, really nimble. The rates are set to 0.70 and look how 
quick and fast this moves. Now one thing I want to change is the way they have the dipole antenna running underneath the frame. You can see, look at all this feedback I'm getting here in my goggles. It's kind of crazy. Um, and like I said, there is some wobble in this. You might need to turn down the D rate and uh, tune that D down just a little bit, get rid of some of that wobble. It's gonna take a little bit of PID tuning, but if I get a good tune on this particular quad, I'll share those rates with you. Uh, maybe I can find someone else's on YouTube, but uh, I'm pretty impressed with how well it flies. Up past half stick, it seems to lose a lot of that, that wobble and uh, camera vibration. You can see a little bit of jello there and some prop wash. But man, is this thing nimble. Look at it like whip around trees. It's having so much fun down low. It handles flips and recovers from low flips to the ground really well. So uh, I can flip and stall and come back around and not even come close to hitting the ground. I can power out of it, which is really nice. It seems like the baby hawk, I have a little problem and I kind of have to go full throttle a lot of times to power out of things. But at about a 75% throttle, this thing is ripping. So these are really good motors. I think these were 7,500 kVs. Really nice. And I have the motor timing set to high. So if you want to go into uh, Be A Heli Suite and turn your motors timing to high, they'll run a lot more efficient. And I actually ended up, I used one shot, 125 on here. And uh, instead of D shot, I ended up turning it from D shot to 125. And they seem to be doing great. But man, it's this thing super fast. So much fun. And once I move that antenna up, it should perform a lot better. It won't give me as much static on the screen. But man, does this thing tree flip. Look at that. Oh, almost took myself out. So my last battery right here, I'm running this Emacs Baby Hawk battery. They just came out on emacsusa.com. You can check those out. I think they're five or six bucks, but uh, it's a really small, lightweight, 350 milliamp 2S. And uh, I kind of maxed it out because I was having so much fun whipping around with this quad. And what happens with this, this is a good example because you get to see this here. If you, if you max out your battery, you're not paying attention to that telemetry on the lower left there, this ESC is going to reset itself when it gets to a critical low point. So you get down to like 5.5 volts and it's just going to stop and reset and you're going to do the death spin into the ground, uh, what I call the death roll. And you'll see it here at the very end of this video. But man, I had so much, so much fun flying this one. It's a really good flying quad. I would definitely consider picking up one of these if you want something that's um, a lot of fun for freestyle. And if you're racing multi-GP micro league this year, this would be a hot competitor, especially with these gem fan props. I'll try to post a link below for those. You guys need to try those. If yours didn't come with it, grab some extra with yours. Uh, three or four packs of these. You don't have to cut them. They fit on there perfectly. But yeah, I'm able to whip around and do flips low to the ground and recover and have plenty of maneuverability with this quad and it flies really true and fast. I'm impressed with it. So here we go. Here's that death spin. So watch your battery levels, guys. I'll see you on the next one.